Welcome yogis, thank you for tuning in. My name is Dominique and today I will be guiding you through a gentle movement practice in which we will move through various yoga stretches. For this practice, I have brought two blocks which you are welcome to use blocks in your practice as well. We will hold some of the poses a little bit longer than traditional in my vinyasa flows. So please be mindful as you move through the practice and move intuitively. We will get started in a child's pose. So take a few moments and find your way there. As you arrive, hands will be towards the front of the mat. Knees are wide, big toes touch, sit the glutes back towards the heels. You can begin to walk the hands forward to the top of the mat as you bring the forehead down to the mat. Active through your child's pose, find length. Imagine that you're pulling your hips back towards your heels. At the same time, you're trying to slide your hands to the top of the mat. Allow yourself to settle here. Notice where you are in space. Notice where you are on the mat. Then begin to shift that awareness internally. That awareness surrounds the breath. Direct that breath into the navel space. Perhaps you find a bit more length with each inhale and exhale. And then wherever you are in your breath cycle, empty the breath completely. Together we inhale through the nose for three, two, one. Open mouth sigh, let that go. Let's do that again. Inhale for three, two, one. Open mouth, sigh, release. One more time. Inhale for three, two, one. Open mouth, let that go. Seal the lips. You can begin to cultivate ujjayi. Allow the forearms to drop to the earth. Palms come together, bend through the elbows, find a tricep stretch in your child's pose. Perhaps you walk the elbows closer to the top of the mat and breathe here. Notice the length the body begins to find in the lats and the triceps. And continue to direct the breath to the navel space. You have about two more deep, full rounds of breath here. Then eventually the arms will begin to straighten as the palms come back to the mat. Cupcake through the fingertips, slightly lift the forehead enough to walk the hands off of right side of mat. Begin to lower the forehead back down, find length through left side body. Breathe here in your child's pose. Perhaps you even extend that right arm back to find a little bit more length. One more full round of breath. Then right hand meets the left. Walk it through the center. Then begin to walk the hands off of the left side of the mat. Find length through right side body. Again, you have that option to walk the left hand back. Breathe here. Left hand will find its way back to the right. And then begin to walk both hands back to center, child's pose, one full round of breath. And 
Begin to pull yourself up. Come into a tabletop. Once you're in your tabletop, distribute the weight evenly through the hands. Then press up, find that cat back, separate the shoulder blades, gaze to the tops of the thighs. We'll only do a, calf, a half cat cow, so we're only going to go from tabletop to cat. Move at your own pace. You'll inhale, tabletop. Exhale, cat. Two more rounds just like that. You can stay as long as you need in your cat pose. Then eventually we'll meet in that tabletop. Both hands will walk off of the left side of the mat. Keep the palms underneath the shoulders. So we'll do that same thing again. Press up and away from the mat. Find that cat back variation. Gaze back to the upper thighs. And then you'll find the tabletop. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, cat. Two more. Take your time. Then we'll bring everything back through the center. Walk it off right side. Palms underneath the shoulders. Tabletop. Exhale, press up, cat. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, cat. One more. Take your time. Then after you're finished with those three rounds, make your way back to center. We begin to extend through that right leg, ball of right foot on the earth, press through right heel. You can find a rock forward and back as you find length in the back of right leg. Then eventually you'll find stillness. You'll lift right foot off the earth, bend at right knee, find some hip circles. You can go three in one direction and then the other. Take your time. Try to keep the weight in the center of the mat as you move through right leg. Then eventually you'll begin to bring that right knee to right elbow and then step right foot outside of right hand. You're in a low lizard lunge here. Perhaps you walk that left knee back a little bit more. You can find a sway left and right. Then go ahead and locate your blocks. You're welcome to put one block underneath each hand. And begin to bring yourself up into this high lizard variation. Allow yourself to sink a little bit deeper into left hip. You can flex through that left glute. That'll signal the body to help release through left hip. And then at any time, if you would like, you can always bring it down to the forearms. You can walk the blocks down to a lower level. Just take this where you need. We have about five rounds of breath for you to explore. Take your time. Remember to breathe deep. Direct the breath into the navel space. Expand through the rib cage with each inhale. Empty completely with the exhale. We have about two more rounds of breath here.
And then whichever variation you decided to choose, we will all meet upright, place the blocks alongside, then begin to shift the hips back as you extend through right leg for a half split variation. You can bring those blocks back inside right leg and find a flat back. You might want to walk that right heel forward a little bit more. Check in, find what you need in this moment. Flex through right foot, pull those right toes back towards the body. Then you can also play around with one hand on each side of right leg, or perhaps you take something a little different today and you walk both blocks off of right side of leg. Breathe here. You have a couple more rounds of breath. And then if both hands are off of the right side of the leg, begin to walk them towards the front. We'll place the blocks alongside the body, hands come back down to the mat. Begin to walk that left leg in, then shoot that right leg back. You can find some more hip circles on this side. Perhaps you even open up into a supported side plank as you extend through right leg, open right hip up and expand right arm up to the sky, maybe even overhead, find length. Then we'll close it out as we come into a tabletop. We'll switch right to the other side. Begin to extend through that left leg, ball of left foot on the earth, press through the heel. You can find that rock forward and back. Stretch through the calf. Eventually we lift that left leg, bend that left knee, find three hip circles in one direction and then the other. Remember to keep the weight to the center of the mat so you'll have to recruit the obliques to keep yourself still as you rotate through left hip. Then eventually that left knee will come to left elbow, step left foot outside of left hand. You can walk that right knee back, locate your blocks, and then come up for your high lizard variation. And then whenever you're ready, you can begin to walk it down. This side might be different than the other, that's okay. You might find more flexibility or less, just take your time. Honor what you need on this side. There's no rush. You have about five full rounds of breath. Remember to breathe into the navel space. And then begin to walk yourself up. You can move the blocks alongside as you shift yourself back, find that half split variation, then you can bring those blocks back in. You may start with them inside of left leg. Then perhaps you walk left hand outside of left leg, keeping right hand inside. And maybe you go all the way over to left side. Try to take the same variation that you did on the other side. Flex through left foot, pull those left toes back towards the face. Breathe here. You have about three more rounds of breath. Expand through the rib cage on the inhales. 
Empty completely with the exhales. Then if you walked both hands off of left side of the leg, begin to walk them back inside of left. Bend through left knee. Place the blocks alongside the mat. Hands are down. Extend that left leg back. You can find some hip circles or perhaps a supported side plank. As you extend through left leg, open up left hip, left hand overhead, breathe. Then we find left hand to the earth, both knees on the mat. Then cross over the ankles as you come into a seated position. Find integrity through the spine. We inhale, extend the arms overhead. On your exhale, seated twist, left hand, right knee, right hand on the earth behind. Gaze beyond right shoulder. Perhaps you walk that right hand over to left hip to find a little bit more length. One more full round of breath. If you have the bind, release. Then we bring everything back to center. Inhale, extend through the arms. Exhale, twist other side, right hand on left knee, left hand on the earth behind, gaze beyond left shoulder. Invitation for the bind as left hand comes to right hip. Expand through the rib cage. One more round of breath. Then release, we bring it back to center. When we're moving into either a seated fold or a fire log pull, fold, your choice. So we'll start with either right leg in front if you're choosing the cross-legged position or right leg on the bottom for fire log. Then you'll begin to hinge at the hips as you walk the hands forward. We do have blocks, so you can bring the forearms to the blocks. That'll just help bring the earth closer to you. Or if you feel a bit more flexible today, you can walk the forearms to the earth and perhaps the chin falls to the chest as the crown of the head falls to the earth. You have about three more rounds of breath here. See if you can breathe into the back of the heart. Can you find a little extra space for the breath? And after that last round, begin to walk yourself up. Hands will come behind the body. Feet plant the width of the mat. Windshield wiper the knees left and right. And then we'll prepare for the other side, either the cross-legged position with left leg in front or the fire log with left leg on the bottom. Begin to fold, find whichever variation in the fold works for you. Five rounds of breath. See if you can breathe through the back of the heart. If your mind starts to wander and drift, bring it back by bringing awareness to the breath. You only have about one more round of breath. Fill up completely, then let it go. Create space for new breath as you begin to walk yourself up. Feet will plant the width of the mat again. Find a windshield wiper left and right. We'll begin to make our way into a simple seat. Hands alongside the body, cupcake the fingertips. 
Find length and then begin to drop right ear, right shoulder. Open up through left side of neck. Perhaps you feel it down through the front of the shoulder, perhaps the bicep and even the forearm. You can close the eyes if you would like. Perhaps you bring the chin a little closer to the chest to explore how the stretch feels in your body and what you might need. If eyes found their way closed, begin to flutter them open, chin comes back to chest. We'll move right to the other side, drop left ear, left shoulder, open up right side of the neck. Perhaps that chin drops closer to the chest. Explore as you tilt the chin forward and back. One more round of breath. If the eyes are closed, flutter them open. Chin back to chest, right hand stays on the earth, left hand to the heart space, close your eyes. Hand placement, signifying a groundedness. If you set an intention, you can call it back to the mind's eye. Perhaps you just offer gratitude to yourself and to the practice. If eyes are closed, begin to flutter them open. Prayer hands come to chest, thumbs into the heart space. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. Namaste.